Hi and welcome to Martin Carr's Real Reviewing 101, the imaginatively titled second half of uh, this six part series which I've sort of come up with ad hoc off the top of my head. Um, in this particular one what I'm going to be doing is talking about um, the way I put together an email which I know it sounds a little bit um, simplistic and maybe might be to some like I'm trying to teach people to suck eggs but this is just stuff that I've learned. Um, also um, how to tie off emails, how to follow up, when to follow up and uh, and ultimately maybe how to be using uh, in my particular example uh, a LinkedIn profile to to sort of gain uh, legitimacy uh, in the end game which is ultimately uh, to try and get um, writing work for a, a site which is going to pay you some cash. So let's dive into it shall we? Right so the um, thing is there are so many uh, tutorials and so many how to's on, on film criticism and, and they are a little bit like uh, yeah, they, they, it goes on about um, you have to know your genres, you have to know um, loads about film and TV. Yes you do need to know this stuff but it, but it sort of bogs down um, everybody's intention which is ultimately to get their, their writing in print. So. Right, what I'm going to start with is emails. Um, know who it is that you're, you're looking to um, talk to uh, within any given PR firm, within any given network. Um, Utilise as many um, ways to gain access to this information as you can. Um, ultimately, if you know who it is that you're trying to talk to, um, then you're halfway home um, to a certain extent. Also, what you need to do is at the end of every email that you, you write, always write best wishes. I, it sounds silly, but um, it strikes a perfect balance between being informal and yet professional. Um, keep your uh, inquiry to the point. Always include um, the film or television title that you are looking to review, bang it in your subject line and be polite. Um, uh, the thing about being polite is that if you A, don't get to the point quickly enough, um, then it'll just be waffle, it'll be ignored. If you don't put your title, the word, um, the title of your, your film or television show in your subject line, it will be ignored. Um, all of these people don't have the time to talk to you. And, and they are in the industry which is fast moving, they have things to do or they don't have things to do and ultimately what you need to do is stand out, come across as being professional and ultimately um, get your point across and do it quickly. So next. Right, so if you are lucky enough to get um, a response from a PR, um, an account executive or an associate director within the firm or um, a PR bod, within a studio or a network, um, then ultimately what's gonna happen is you're gonna have people CC'd into that email. And what you can then do is, or what I used to do, not so much anymore, but what I used to do is I would then find these people, do a search through LinkedIn with my LinkedIn profile and send a very polite invitation. Um, introduce myself very briefly, follow up what I, what the email was that I'd actually sent out originally so that it gives them a connection. Um, make sure that your profile picture is very clear and recent um, so that they have a face to connect to any email that you might send out. Um, and if you have links to a free website that you've built or um, a website which you've had the funds to, to, to create, um, then make sure that there is a link to, uh, you can include a link in that, in that initial invitation so that it, again, what it does, it follows up and it gives you a certain degree of legitimacy. Um, and that's that really. Um, ultimately, um, the email game is one which is a constant chasing affair. You are constantly hustling. Um, you are constantly keeping track of people in the beginning and, and it's, it's one of those things where you you learn over time, just as you do, just as you build up your knowledge about film and television. So you you find um, you find the things that work and the things that don't work uh, when it comes to trying to gain access either through screeners, through screenings, um, and and you start your journey.
Um, so that's it. Let's move on. So uh, final point I'd like to finish on, um, ultimately is something which I will repeat um, constantly throughout this series, is the fact that this is not, uh, there, there's no quick win um, in, in terms of trying to break into film criticism. There, there, there just simply isn't. Um, it's something you learn over time. Um, it's something you, you build up equipment in, in order to, to do things like this. Um, and it, it, 90 percent of it comes through being persistent. You could be the most talented writer in the world. You could um, be able to concoct the most um, the, the most ornate paragraphs to describe a scene in a film or a television show. Um, but if you're not consistent, if you're not persistent in trying to do that and and keeping all your balls in the air, all of those different opportunities in the air, I should be more clear, um, then you aren't going to break through. You won't succeed. Or at least what you're doing is you're limiting the possibility of you making uh, making progress. Um, so all, all I would say, the, the main point, again, with, with the email etiquette and, and with the PR connections and the, the screener access and all of that stuff, it comes through persistence. It comes through... Um, chasing and, and, and pursuing it and being disciplined and, and, and having time to do these things and putting time aside if you don't have time uh, and you, you need to find time. It's like anything, if you're passionate about something, you will create the time necessary in order to make it happen. Um, so until next time, um, this has been my Real Reviews 101 or Real Reviewing 101. Um, if you'd like to check out the other videos, feel free. Um, and you're always welcome to subscribe. Until next time, take care.